You just want me to fail. Everybody here wants me to fail. Every keep clapping. You're nothing without me. Happy Tuesday, everyone. But is it really happy? Not when it's day two of Joe Biden, son of a bitch, gate again an insurrection. <laughs> Yes, it was just 24 hours ago the world was rocked by an insidious, foul-mouthed display of incoherent rage. It was the slanderer-in-chief lashing out at our very own Peter Ducey, who was simply gathering information for a school book report. <laughs> Do you think inflation is a political mm -hmm. liability ahead of the midterm? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, in case you missed it, let's do it again. Slow-mo. The original SOB, salty old Biden, strikes again. <laughs> of course, the target of his wrath was the one reporter who asked questions Joe can't answer on autopilot, Fox News' Peter Ducey, or as we like to say, our very own. Like we raised him in a plastic bubble. <laughs> we took a clipping from Steve Ducey, then let Miracle Grow do the rest. Ducey, known for his hair and his lengthy rap sheet, was noticeably shaken up. Somebody came up to me in the briefing room a few minutes later and said, did you hear what the president <laughs> said? And I said, no, what? They said, he called you a stupid SOB. And I said, did he say SOB? And the person said, no. <laughs> well, maybe he's not that shaken up. Ducey, who just turned 16 last week, is home recuperating, spending most of his time in his bedroom, playing video games, smoking blunts, and texting Kilmeade about the hot new girl in homeroom. Now, since this event, the so-called president has called Mr. Ducey to clear the air, which, when talking about Joe, usually involves opening a window and the use of at least 75 Glade plugins. Apparently, it was a perfect phone call, although odds are good Joe was still talking 10 minutes after Peter hung up. But what a pair, a reporter who's never shaved and a president you wouldn't let near anything sharp. When I say, why bother? This is the best thing President Biden has ever done since... In fact, it's the best thing Joe Biden has ever done. It's definitely the most honest thing to come out of his, come out of him since he crop dusted Camilla Bowles with the uh, air biscuit heard around the world. <laughs> it's better than beating corn pop and breakdancing up the stairs to Air Force One combined. Because when Biden called Ducey an SOB, what did he do? He reminded you of the good old days when the only problems we had were verbal. Yeah, let's take a walk down memory lane or insult avenue, if you will to the glorious days of old, when the only things hurled through the air were words and not Russian missiles pointed at Kiev. You're not a very good reporter doing that. Crooked Hillary Clinton. Here I am, I'm lying Ted Cruz. To the fake Pocahontas, I won't about it. Sleepy Joe Biden. Crazy Bernie. Don't worry about it, little Marco. Your little pencil neck. Adam Schiff. Uh, I know you're trying to build up your energy, Please. Jeb, but it's not one, working One at a well. time. With Jeb's attitude, we will never be great again. That I can tell you. <laughs> I love babies. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. This really <laughs> stupid guy. Chuck Todd. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired! Honestly, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let would me be ask much you better. Guy. Ah! Those were the days when the only stress we felt were from Trump's relentless, full-throated insult. It was like we had Don Rickles as president. His rallies weren't so much rallies as they were roasts. The only thing missing was Dean Martin and Foster Brooks. And it reminded you that it was not just a problem. It was really the only problem. Well, besides that rash I got in Tulum. But there was no inflation, no high crime, unless you count the coddled left-wing mascots, Antifa and BLM. No foreign policy disasters, no education implosion, no attacks on parents, no dividing America into us versus them based on vaccinations, race, or pronouns. All we had were mean tweets and some hilarious insults. So what would you rather be doing? Paying seven bucks a gallon for gas or listening to Trump call Bette Midler a washed-up psycho? Would you rather have bare supermarket shelves or have your president say of kneeling NFL players, get those SOPs off the field? You were free to get mad or laugh it off. Well, unless you were Rosie O'Donnell. You see, I want more of that and less of the other real problems. I mean, what if Joe just got more Trumpian and less 
you know, well, Biden-y. I wonder what Joe has to say. What, what did I say? Anyway? What did I say? You stupid son of a bitch. That's an expression. It's an expression. I say it all the time. I don't mean anything by it. I said it to my cream of wheat this morning because she burned my tongue. I said, you stupid son of a bitch. Then I apologized. I leaned over the bowl and I like to let the steam come up and I smell it. It's very nice. But I said, oh, my sweet Farina, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say such a thing. That's what I call her on a good day, my sweet Farina. On a bad day, I call her a punk ass <laughs> pony soldier. Uh, it illustrates what so many people in the media and entertainment got so wrong about Trump. Their derangement made them think that his words were his deeds. So they tossed out a guy who did pretty good stuff, but with a cab driver's mouth, replacing him with a supposedly genial but declining mindless mess. Turns out the new guy is about as genial as a scorpion with jock rot. What I wouldn't give for the cab driver. Instead, we got Grandpa Simpson driving us off a cliff. Meanwhile, the same idiots who castigated Trump for calling journalists names are now heaping praise or at least excusing Joe for the very same thing. It shows Joe's tough. He's got backbone, even though it's crumbling from osteoporosis. Putin's so scared he might even put a shirt on. So the pre press either has the memory of a goldfish or just biased a-holes. My apologies to literal a-holes. So in one brief moment, Joe reminded us what we had and what we lost and now what we are stuck with. But also the president sets the tone and sadly, it's contagious. Hey, Queen, I just want to let you know that on Instagram, all your photos of Percy are so cute. Thank you. Yeah, give that little stupid son of a bitch a scratch for me, okay? <laughs> stupid son of a bitch. Oh. What are you doing, guys? Hey, Jesse, congratulations on the new show, the ratings. Thank you. Are you surprised they gave it to me? That's a stupid question. Of course I'm surprised. You're a brain-dead son of a bitch. <laughs> it's not personal, pal. Hey, Judge, you know what? Let's not. Let's not. Good choice. You know, I mentioned before that the great comedian Jim Gaffigan said he'd vote for Joe Biden's corpse over Donald Trump, which is funny because he already did. The only thing left is the cremation in November. And it served as just one selfish example of those who crusaded Trump out of office. They wanted their emotional damage reduced, even if it meant electing someone who would usher in real damage, be it domestic or international. Sure, they didn't have to endure the tweets or the barbs, and that helped them get to sleep. But in this trade-off, our actual physical lives are remarkably worse. Whether it's rampant criminality, kids forced to wear unnecessary masks, or a possible hot war now with Russia. And so they sacrificed everything to get rid of the orange man who made them feel bad, even though his greatest real estate deal was living rent-free in their heads. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He's made more liberals cry than the finale of The West Wing. <laughs> Former White House Press Secretary and Fox News contributor Ari Fleischer. He's like Peter Pan. He doesn't age and will never marry a woman. <laughs> Host of The Guy Benson Show and Fox News contributor Guy Benson. She's proof that if you can't say something nice, you can get a job on TV. Fox News <laughs> contributor Cat Tim. And when he wears a green shirt in Boston, they think he's Fenway Park. <laughs> My massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Champion, Taurus. <laughs> Guy, you're a filthy, filthy little little man, aren't you? Just filthy. Greg. I, I need to give you a bath. <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch, Greg. Uh, three things to say on this. Sure. In my defense, number one, it was a hot mic. Yes. Okay, I forgot that I was mic'd up. I forgot there was a camera every time mm -hmm. with all four of them. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's number one. Number two, yes, I may have cursed a bit. Mm -hmm. Last time I was on the show, in December, I believe, we did a whole segment on cursing. I declined to curse, but I promised that I would next time. And you did. I have paid that off in spades. If I cursed any more on TV, I'd be Dana Perino. <laughs> yeah. And finally, I feel like we have had our differences through the years. Right. But I hope you're okay with how that sketch went, because I feel like that might be the closest I'll ever get to being on The Five <laughs> after how that all went down. Yes. So sorry, everyone. Love you, Dana. Love you, Judge, especially. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
isn't it? Isn't it a contrast between how we handle things and how CNN does? Like if somebody, when some, when Trump would go after their people, they would be like, "Oh my God, it's the end of the world," and all we do is make fun of Ducey. Well, I saw a guy on Twitter <laughs> said that if that had been Acosta and Trump, exactly yeah, what yeah. happened, Acosta would have shown up on CNN within a minute in a neck brace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been I've been harmed, uh, and Ducey played it perfectly, blowing it off. Yeah, he was very funny. He said that it hadn't been fact checked yet. That right. was very clever. That's good. All right, uh, did any uh, anything like this ever happen with your boss, President Bush? I'm trying to remember hot mic moments. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes, it did. Oh, yeah, yes. But first of all, Acosta would have shown up with a neck brace, but he'd been represented by Michael Avenatti. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's good. Um, it did. In the 2000 campaign, when Bush ran for president, he was at a mic, and he referred to a reporter from the New York Times named Adam Clymer as a major league Began with an A, yes. two little curly letters, and then rhymed with troll. You're right, right. To which Dick Cheney, when he heard that, said, big time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that became a thing. Yes. But the difference was, and you showed it with the Trump tape, mm -hmm. where Bush, it fit the personality. Mm -hmm. Bush was always a guy who could throw elbows under the board, snap a towel at you. People knew that was kind of Bush in character. Mm -hmm. uh, with Joe Biden, it's just weird. Yeah, it's cranky. B Biden's saying that. It's because of what you pointed out. He's supposed to be this kind of older, congenial man, and then he mm -hmm. says something like that. Mm -hmm. It worked for Trump. It worked for Bush, even though it was inadvertent for Bush. It's definitely advertent or whatever the opposite of yeah, that's inadvertent a good point. is for What's Trump. What's the opposite of inadvertent? Advertent? <laughs> it worked for Trump. Yeah. Being advertent. Yes, it did. I love that word, advertent. That's a great one. I'm going to start throwing that around at my uh, meetings. You know, uh, Tyrus... <laughs> The only time I got caught on a hot mic was when I hosted the Chippendales. <laughs> happened Welcome in the, back. Happened yep. in the green room. <laughs> you were good, by He the way. creaked me out last night, and then he just keeps raising the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I got angry old women sending me mean messages. You wish you had it so good. So thank you, Greg. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I'm kind of super impressed with our very own Ducey because he clearly doesn't care about money. Yeah. He actually cares about being a journalist because... Yes, Acosta would have had the neck thing on, but you're forgetting the six books that were going to come out about <laughs> yes. that experience. Right. Literally, he got a own TV show based on President Trump hurt my feelings. And his book was literally just every word he said. And then you would see him at, he wouldn't even do interviews anymore. He's like, I'm standing outside the rally, and these four people called me names. Yeah. And he was the story. Yeah. And I, I commend Ducey for not becoming the story. When everyone's kind of like, hey, how did that feel? He's like... I didn't hear it, you know? Yeah. I just moved through it. And uh, oh, he called me and he said, sorry, no, you know, nothing personal. And he laughed it off, which is being, and maybe CNN could take a lesson here, but I doubt it, yeah. he's being a journalist. So all the, the things that could happen for that, I applaud our very own <laughs> uh, Ducey for be, staying the journalist. Yeah. And, that, and I, I commend him for that. You know, uh, I'll go to our very own Cat Timp. Um, I don't belong to anyone. <laughs> You're the uh, the homeless. Yeah. The homeless cat, Tim. Um, what, did, uh, what did you make of this whole thing? It's so silly, but it's great. It's You know what I like about this topic? It's fun. It is fun. <laughs> and you know what else was fun? What? Was reading all the columns today, or at least the titles of them, like, you know, Joe Biden shouldn't have said that, but here's actually why it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's like, okay, who are you writing these verses? Because yeah. a column like that, you have to be writing it versus someone. Mm -hmm. You have to be assuming there's someone saying that that is a huge deal, but nobody said that. And then watching Stelter last night, he tried to be like, I'm Mr. Consistent. He was like, listen, <laughs> I'm not going to be like those other guys. I'm going to actually say, like, it was wrong, okay? Because I'm but when, you know, Trump said that about Chuck Todd, he said it was a threat to our free press. So saying something's kind of wrong and then a threat to the free press aren't exactly consistent. And then he also said, you know, we'd be milking it all day, which, again, we've been joking around. Mm -hmm. Both Peter and his dad work here. And they were yes. both like, nah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Peter's mom took it very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's the victim in all of this. Why, by the way, no, there, where is the journalist I mean, interviewing his mom? Yeah, because well, usually well, it could have also when someone... Been referring to his well, dad. Well, in my neighborhood, if you called me a son of a bitch, it's go time, because no one talks about my mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let's just take a moment of silence for her. Yeah. Our very own. But you got to remember, they have insider information. They know what they're talking about if they say it. Yeah. You know that uh, uh, Jimmy Kimmel called Ducey last night a uh, also a dumb son of a bee. 
And that was a direct lift from what Jesse Waters said. He just stole Waters' joke, yeah. which is so pathetic. It also just sucks that everyone who calls me names, none of them are famous. No, oh. well, that'll happen one day. Okay. One day. Well, Because <laughs> <laughs> you're so yeah. famous. I am famous. Yeah, jerk. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got to put the words major league in yes. front of that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm not really that good at name calling. You know that? I should get better at it. No, you're more of like a structured paragraph insulter. Exactly. Like you have to pay all digital. to a gut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not just it's a whole he tells you why. Don't uh, stop it, you know. Sent from future. My yes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, scathing email. Shut up both of you. <laughs> Go to your rooms. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.